morning everybody this is Mac from Cryptstar Staking and today I just uh, wanted to introduce you to another amazing Tezos DeFi project uh, if you guys have ever heard of this thing called uh, DAI DAI and the DAI coin the DAI stable coin uh, this is very similar to that uh, basically it's a, no a decentralized non-custodial self-governed uh, banking platform where you can go ahead and increase your exposure to Tezos uh, without having to go through a centralized exchange. Now, this is kind of like a really big dream of, of many uh, of these crypto, smart contract cryptocurrencies to create a contract that can completely take out the middleman and you can basically do leverage trading and things like that without having to go through an exchange, which basically increases the profit you can make and also uh, decreases the amount of uh, people required to go ahead and do a transaction. Uh, it basically takes the money out of the big players like the banks and puts it in your hands. So this product is still in beta testing and only put in uh, what you can lose. So uh, without more to do, let's go ahead and get started. I'll take you guys uh, here to the use homepage. So as you can see, they have a really nice layout. I really like this UI. Uh, I'm, and during this uh, during this talk today, I, I went ahead and experimented a bit with you so I could learn the ins and outs. It's a bit complicated, so I'm going to try and you know simplify this for you. Uh, there's, there's, I think, three or four different ways to earn interest on your Tezos on the use platform. It's, it's not extremely straightforward, but basically it allows you to deposit your te Tezos and to leverage your Tezos against your Tezos. Um, or you can also play it safe and not even leverage and just gain uh, and just mint uh, UUSD, which will be the stable coin on here. And by minting alone, you can get uh, like a sort of farming fee and you can get the governance token U. And the whole the whole token is governed by you. Uh, I believe there is also uh, I'll be going into this later, but you also you can stake your stake your U tokens and receive their share of the platform profits. So basically, you stake your your U tokens and you receive some of the profits that the platform makes uh, when people mint or when people um, when people try and get out of their positions in a hurry and need, and they end up paying the fee you get a portion of that fee. You holders get a portion of the fee if you have it staked. Okay, so uh, we're gonna go to the quick start guide here so you can go to learn here, documentation. So like as it says, it's a self-governing non-custodial platform with the creation and management of synthetic assets that are secured by eligible collateral. The platform and its smart contracts are built on the Tezos blockchain. Okay, so users can become minters and you can mint UUSD and lock your XTZ as collateral in a vault and create these synthetic assets. Now, this first in synthetic asset is going to be a stable token. There are, uh, you're able to put in a request to make more synthetic assets. For example, uh, I was talking to some people about making a synthetic asset, uh, like a 2x long Tezos. And so you can basically put in your Tezos, you can lock it as collateral, and you do like a 1.5x long on Tezos automatically without having to actually mint any uh, UUSD. Uh, you can basically just mint a, a Tezos long token or something. And then that will mimic, uh, if Tezos goes up, it goes up 1.5, it goes down, it goes down 1.5. And then you pay a stability fee uh, to go ahead and make sure you don't get liquidated uh, when the Tezos is moving. So synthetic asset holders can earn passive income. This passive income would be used, known as U-Token and it's a transparent and new asset on the blockchain, okay? And self-governing aspect will be managed by the governance token, the U token, okay? Um, so this is all, this is basically where you can find out like all the different uh, meaning, the different mean, the meaning behind all of the different terminology here, okay? So revenues, expense, profits. I think this is pretty simple to get, uh, get to go through. Uh, one big thing about getting on this in the beta test note is that you you tokens minted per week uh, basically as you can see each week goes up it goes down 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 uh, how, how much you per USD is minted okay so right now we are going through an accumulation period uh, if you go ahead and we can go to um, there you go this is a sandbox and then you can also look at the U-Token. So as you can look at the, the U-Token price, as you can see right now, it's gone from about 4.5, 4.5-ish, and now it's down to about one Tezos to one U. Uh, personally, this is my accumulation period. 
my, my goal is to like kind of sell down to here. And then now I'm just going to keep accumulating and accumulating, uh, staking you. You is the governance token of use and can be either and can be either earned as a minter or bought on the DEX. So now is actually a reasonably good time to buy. You can see it's kind of uh, accumulate or it's consolidated down here. So it's going to be right. I think it's going to remain right about one. Uh, it actually makes quite a like a reasonable amount of um, USD per day. Uh, I think I was making about on like 20 U. It's about it's about 60 bucks right now. If you think about it, in the Tezos price, it's about 60 bucks. I was making about like about three dollars a day. It's not bad. Let's go back here uh, for security. Uh, right now there's a security audit going on. I'll just kind of go through all this. You can read through this list yourself. There are many risks. Uh, that come along with you. It is a very new platform. It's a very new idea. However, it's really uh, as, as I'll show you it can be very uh, lucrative and honestly It's a little bit safer than some of these really high inflationary uh, products. You can uh, just basically Leverage your Lord Tezos or, or just keep it the way it is with very little risk and even liquidation doesn't uh, you don't get fully liquidated You just get uh, a fee taken off uh, it's a pretty high fee, but uh, you can also liquidate yourself for a much lower fee uh, if you have Tezos somewhere else on the network that you're using. So there's many ways you can you can go through this. There's a security audit. Uh, it doesn't say here, but uh, I read somewhere there is a security audit going, and they're looked in the external company. This AG's out. They're actually hoping to finish the security audit by the end of August. So they're not actually looking to onboard a whole ton of users right now. It look more than likely, but they will try and onboard a lot more users once the security review is done. Okay, so if you want to experiment with the platform now and get rewarded as an early adopter, it's great to get in on now. Minting and burning. Okay, so this is the really confusing part, right? So basically, you're going to mint your uh, US, USD. You put your Tezos into the vault. Then you mint the mint process. Minting, you can only mint up to one third of your collateral. Uh, you have to have th basically 300% of whatever you mint. Uh, so say for example you have 10, uh, let's say you have 10,000 Tezos, you can only mint about uh, one, up to one, three, one third of that, which is 3,333 Tezos, right? Now, 333 Tezos is equal to like, uh, I think one Tezos is equal to three, three, three dollar, three, whatever, uh, USD. So you can only mint like, uh, say for example, you can only mint I think it's about three thousand dollars on the ten thousand Tezos you would put in. Uh, it also depends on the Tezos price. Uh, if Tezos price to USD, uh, it's it remains about one point two five of the normal USD price. So for right now, Tezos is at. Uh, you can see on the use platform itself. Um, connect wallet. Let's connect the temple. Okay. So my wallet balance is here. Well, as you can see here, the Tez to the USD is uh, three point two five. Right. Tez exchange is 0.31. So this goes up. This goes uh, up over time or down over time, depending on the Tezos price to the US dollar. So here you go ahead and you mint, and then you you get you lock your Tezos. So the vault right here, your Tezos gets put in the vault, and you can choose your bakery. So you can actually earn earn uh, staking rewards on the Tezos that's in the vault. Just keep it there. And you got these minted tokens that get sent to your wallet. Since you're minted, you automatically earn U. So you can take the, the the platform stable token, and then you can like basically claim your U. And then they have a U a U system where you can stake your U and earn UUSD from the U. So it says here that the USD tries to be 1.0, but it never really is. It's usually like above. It's usually like a little bit cheaper than the US dollar. Uh, I think it's better for a lot of the stuff if I just kind of take you through the process. So now I'm going to go ahead and take you guys through the process of minting. As you can see that these, these pages are really, really confusing. So it's really hard to understand exactly uh, what this use platform does. But by taking you through this process, I think it'll be much easier to understand by uh, learning through example. So we're going to basically put in 10 Tezos here. And as I said, you can do, uh, you can utilize up to one third of that collateral because uh, the, the collateral ratio is 300%, right? Basically, te since Tezos is worth 3.25 USD, you can uh, do one third of that, which is uh, about 3.33 Tezos, right? One third of 10 Tezos is 3.33. So since Tezos is worth uh, 3.25, 3.33 times 
3.25 is about 10, 10.446. Now, go ahead and do the math. It, it adds up. It's all, it's all automatically calculated right here. So that'll put me at exactly 3x collateral ratio. And then I can select my baker. Of course, I'm going to choose Cripstar. Cripstar, because we only have an 8% fee. We're an amazing bakery, if that's what you were wondering. Now hit mint now. It's going to go to my, my uh, temple wallet. And I'll hold ahead and hit confirm. All right, now we go. Now, as you can see, I have properly minted this USD. Okay. And if you go ahead and we go here to savings, go ahead and go to savings and we can actually, as you see here, there is a savings account. So rather than if you don't want to leverage uh, your your minted UUSD, you can actually put it in a very safe savings account here and that earns 5.55% interest a year. So read this down here. Why should I hold and lock my UUSD for interest payments? You want to diversify your assets on Tezos with a stable token that is pegged to USD and earns interest in UUSD. You do not mind that it might be converted to Tez in case a minter wants to close his position. Now, closing the position means that basically the minter can hit convert and this allows you to go ahead and convert your Tez against your UUSD. Um, I'll go ahead and do this right now just to show you guys. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do the other thing first. Um, I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can leverage your Tezos so you can actually get more Tezos. So I put 10 Tezos in, right? Okay, so now I want to go ahead and leverage. I want to do 1.3 leverage my Tezos. So now I can actually take and search for my, go to this thing and then go UUSD. It pops up here. I should have 10 UUSD, right? Uh, now I can actually go like this. Click on that. It's swap. Now I can swap my UUSD for Tezos. So I can hit max. And this will give me three Tezos, 3.2. I can hit swap. Increase. I always increase the gas just because I don't mind paying the extra small fee. It's not really that much of a fee, you know, so. Okay, well, looks like the transaction went through. So, oh yeah, we have 3.17 Tezos. So now you can actually go ahead and you can go to minting. And then you can, oh look, I got some Mew. As you can see, your Mew slowly builds up right here. So here I can go ahead and I can do more. Let's see, it was 3.17, sorry, 3.17. And boom. Now we are uh, 1.3x long on uh, the Tezos deposit, right? And that means you also, by minting this extra Tezos, you get even more U. So not only are you leveraging your Tezos, you are also farming even more of the U. So it's kind of like a double whammy in this case. Now you can go ahead and go to savings, right? And you can basically go to save and earn interest. Oh, it, has, it hasn't it hasn't actually hit the blockchain yet so uh, as you can see here my collateralization oh I just deposited it so I can mint 3.25 more UUSD so I can go ahead and mint max boom so now we're minting right we can go ahead and go to savings and then we can lock it in here and then we can save and earn interest and this interest is actually earned in UUSD okay so it'll show you my you know, my pool share my yearly return uh, then you can also go to staking and it says my balance is 0U but actually I have 0.002U. Uh, as you can see 0.002U isn't really enough to do much uh, but it shows you your pool share percentage and your expected yearly reward. This is not very accurate. Um, I'm actually earning a lot more than what is said here, probably about 10 times more. Okay so remember you can stake your U here and you can earn USD. Okay. You can stake your USD here and earn more USD. So I can stake that. Oh, 
as you can see here, you earn 5.5% interest a year. And then uh, you can lock it there, or you can sell it again and buy more you, uh, Teslas. But the, the returns are a bit diminishing after the first or second time, I think. Now I'm going to go ahead and go on to the next, the next part, how to go ahead and convert. You will immediately buy back and burn the minted UUSD at an implied price of 1.25 USD per USD. So uh, think about it. It's a bit expensive. So you can hit convert. Um, and I can see minted UUSD is 12.75. Amount to convert. Amount of TES to convert. So basically this removes the TES and converts it to UUSD. And there's a 25% fee. Ooh, it's really steep. Okay. So it's a very steep fee, however. Yeah, this means that you can you can buy back and burn automatically and then you can withdraw the rest of your Tezos if you want. So let's see what that does. Oh, okay. So as you can see, uh, it basically took the 25% fee. I lost about like $4-ish, $3. And, but now I can go ahead and remint the UUSD if I want. Uh, and my collateralization is back down to 0%. Hey guys, uh, thank you for watching my video. Um, I hope this helped. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, please hit the subscribe and notification bells below. And I hope this helped you decide if you want to use the use platform in its beta version. Uh, they will, like I said, they should have their, their full version up or at least have their security audits done by the end of August. So. Uh, it might be worth throwing a few tests at it now to learn how it works, the conversion offers, and also with uh, the other mechanisms that are involved, it's pretty complicated and it's good to learn and get involved before it hits mainstream. Yep, uh, next week I'm going to be doing an interview with Joe F from Tezotopia, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be very exciting. He's going to walk us through his new marketplace and the other plans he has for Tezotopia. So, again, uh, thank you guys for viewing and I'll see you all next time.